When we plug in 12 to our original function, we get negative 2.51. We have the point 12, negative 2.51. We know that because we have a horizontal asymptote, we're going to approach that value but never cross it as we go to the right. As we go to the left, the first important aspect we hit is this root. And we know we're going to cross here. So we hit 8, and we're going to cross through it. What happens next is we hit a vertical asymptote, which means we're going to continue on to positive infinity. We will not go to negative infinity because there's no other roots for us to cross to get down there. That's why we go to positive infinity. Because the multiplicity on that factor was even, we have the same infinity, we start back up at positive infinity on the other side as well. The next important aspect we hit is a root where we bounce, come down to the root and bounce back up. Next important thing is a vertical asymptote. We're going back up to positive infinity. Because the multiplicity on this factor was odd, we have opposite infinities. We start down here and there's no other important aspects other than our horizontal asymptote, so we level off. There is a sketch of our graph. The basic procedure is identify the three important types of characteristics, roots, vertical asymptotes, and a horizontal asymptote or end behavior. Second, you want to plot a point, then sketch your graph. There's one last thing I want to look at, and that's a special case of when the numerator is greater than the denominator. And it happens when the numerator is only one degree greater. So if you're ready to look at that, go on to the next video. Otherwise, you're good to go with what we have done already. This special case, just in case you're wondering, is dealing with a slant or oblique asymptote.